I'm one of the artists in residence for Pictures of Aging. Um, and it's a themed residency, which is really interesting, um, at 32 degrees east. And my name is Mikisi Saramaga. Pictures of Aging is a research project in collaboration with um, the Institute of Infectious Diseases at Makere Ray, Cambridge University and Makere University itself. And this is an interesting research project to me because its main question is around what does it mean to really age in Uganda? What resources are available, available for people? Um, how are people? How is people's health? What is the role of their caregivers? And how do they perceive their process of aging in peri-urban parts of central Uganda? So what I'm doing now is that's a slightly more boring path. But essentially, I'm trying to make baskets, like those ones over there, from shredded mukeka. Essentially, this is mukeka. Put them in a blender for a very, very, very long time. Then it turned into something that looks like that. And the idea behind that, or the idea behind shredding the mukeka, is to see how much we can transform an everyday object that probably we take for granted. So in my normal practice, I'm just like a straight filmmaker, documentary filmmaker, but with this residency, I really wanted to see if I could expand on that and engage like, um, yeah, essentially different media and see how to tell a story on those multiple different levels so that you're always kind of engaging different senses at the same time. Two people who I decided to follow are Nachito and Nan Puka. And I met them actually when our fellow artist in residence, Martin Karungo, was taking portraits of people at one of the community meetings. And they were just super interesting to me right off the bat because I felt like they were just generally interesting people. I liked their energy. So a big part of the conversations that I was having with these ladies revolved around relevance. They really had some practical questions around how do they remain relevant to their communities that they work in in order to be able to continue sustaining the livelihoods that they need because clearly the retirement plans that they are trying to engage on working out in the way that they had hoped. Um, and so when we were spending a lot of time cooking and working in the house, Mikeka came up a lot. There's stacks of Mikeka in the sitting room. There's a lot of Mikeka in the kitchen that we were sitting on and cooking on. It's just everywhere. And this was one of the Mikeka that was like, it's obviously particularly old. Um, and I really wanted to know how do you take something old and literally transform it so that it can gain new relevance and new um, usefulness to people in the space. But in the end, for my own process, and also because of my own tense relationship with anthropology, I felt that that was far too wide and far too impersonal to actually get a real understanding of what does it mean, what do all these statistics mean in the day-to-day -day lived experience of someone who's actually aging in Uganda? What does it translate to on an emotional, physical level? And when I say safety also, I mean not physical safety only, but emotional safety, spiritual safety, safety in terms of being able to plan and predict your future to a certain extent, which people over the age of 60 really need to do.